Hello my friends, today we are going to Nebraska, one of the largest agricultural states in the United States, to see how farming and livestock work here. For many years now, Nebraska has always been at the top three of the states with the highest agricultural revenue in the country of about $27.7 billion per year. The top two positions on this list are always California and Iowa. According to statistics, by the end of 2022 in Nebraska, there are about 44,800 farms and ranches in operation. The state's agricultural land area is 45.3 million acres, accounting for 93% of the state's total area. Today, Nebraska's main agricultural products are corn, soybeans, beef and milk. In addition, Nebraska is also famous for its hunting activities, and this has also helped stimulate the development of some animal husbandry industries. This is a pheasant farm in Franklin County, southern Nebraska. Currently, most pheasants are raised on large-scale farms in Nebraska for conservation purposes and recreational hunting. Basically, the process of raising thousands of pheasants on a farm is not much different from raising other animal like quail or poultry. The difference with pheasant farms compared to other animal farms is the upper part of the net. This prevents the pheasants from flying off the farm and escaping into the wild. According to a report by the US Fish and Wildlife Service, there are currently 215 active pheasant farms across the country, and in Nebraska, there are 67 active farms. On average, each pheasant farm in Nebraska produces 117,000 adult pheasants per year. In particular, McFarland Pheasants is the largest pheasant farm in the United States and each year this farm produces up to 1.3 million pheasants. Currently, ringneck pheasant is the most commonly farmed and hunted pheasant in the United States, and these wild birds will be raised for six months before being released into the wild for the hunting season. It is estimated that the total population of pheasants in the wild and raised on US farms is no less than 50 million individuals. Most of these are distributed in states such as South Dakota, North Dakota, Kansas, and Nebraska. This is what happens at a pheasant farm when thousands of pheasants are eligible to be released into the wild. These workers capture and trap the pheasants in cages and then transport them into public lands and release them here to serve hunters. Pheasant keepers will receive profits through the provision of hunting permits, equipment and accommodation for hunters from various places from the patrons who come here to hunt pheasants. Each year, in the United States, about 11.7 million adult pheasants are released into the wild for species conservation and hunting purposes. The presence of a flock of pheasants with a number of up to the hundreds in the fields can also cause damage to local farmers' crops. We will now follow the hunters to the western lands of Nebraska to see how they hunt pheasants. The process of hunting pheasants is often assisted by hunting dogs. In order to obtain a hunting license, each hunter needs to meet requirements such as age 
and a certificate of completion of the course before hunting. In addition, pheasant hunters will also need to pay an annual or lifetime fee to own a hunting license. In addition to pheasant farms, Nebraska agriculture is also known for its indoor fish farms that apply modern techniques and bring very high yields. According to the Nebraska Parks and Game Commission, there are currently 219 operating fish farms in the state, and 37% of them are indoor fish farms. Each year, fish farms in Nebraska create about 3,200 permanent jobs and bring in about $330 million in revenue. When it comes to Nebraska agriculture, one area that we can't ignore is cattle ranching because cattle farming for meat is considered a symbol of the state's agriculture. As of March this year, there are 21,372 active cattle ranches in Nebraska and the number of cattle in the state is about 7.2 million heads. This is 3.7 times more than the population of people living here. Each year, cattle ranches in Nebraska supply the market with about 4.9 million beef cattle. In March of this year alone, 598,000 cattle in the state were sent to the slaughterhouses. In 2022, Nebraska cattle and beef production contributed approximately $12.3 billion directly to the state's economy. In addition, the beef industry in the state also created more than 34,000 stable jobs each year. In addition to livestock, farming is also a strong area of agriculture in Nebraska. As of March this year, in Nebraska, 24.7 million acres of land was used for farming, of which about 415,000 acres of land are used for sorghum production. In recent years, sorghum has always been one of the most important crops in Nebraska. This is for the purpose of forage, cereals and ethanol production. Currently, most of Nebraska's sorghum growing area is concentrated in the southern part of the state, where it borders Kansas and Colorado. Each year, sorghum farms in the state produce about 10.7 million bushels and generate around $216 million in revenue. What impressed you the most about Nebraska's agriculture? Let us know what you think in the comments section of the video. Goodbye and see you in the next video. Hello my friends. By 2022, in the United States, there will be around 94.7 million cattle. This includes calves and dairy cows raised on more than 700,000 farms and ranches of various sizes. According to USDA statistics, every day across the country, between 83,000 and 104,000 cattle are sold at federally inspected plants. The number of cattle sold each day in the United States is also affected by factors such as seasonality, market volatility, or weather. In this video, we will go to large-scale cattle farms and cattle markets in the United States to see how the process of raising and selling thousands of cattle happens. These are beef cattle on a farm in the city of Broken Bow in Custer County, central Nebraska. Two days ago, these cattle were still grazing in the pasture, about three miles from the farm. 
However, now they have been herded to the barn area and live here during the days when the weather is too cold. November to March is usually the time of heavy snowfall in Nebraska. And this is also when about 415 beef cattle at this farm are raised in barns instead of roaming the grazing fields outside. According to USDA statistics, in 2021, Nebraska ranked second on the list of states with the most cattle, with 6.5 million heads. Of course, Texas is always at the top of this list, with 13.7 million heads. On warmer days, hundreds of cattle at this farm will be herded to the outside farm. Here, they can be checked for weight and health before being sold to beef factories. According to a report in March 2023, there are 21,557 cattle ranches in operation in Nebraska. Each year, the beef industry in the state also provides about 57,100 full-time jobs. In addition, the cattle and calf farms in Nebraska are also worth about $9.3 billion a year, accounting for more than half of the value of the state's agricultural industry. This is a beef and dairy farm in Merced County, Central California. Every year, about 373 beef cattle on this farm are sold to beef factories. In addition, the dairy herd here also produces about 8.7 million pounds of milk each year. As of early 2023, there are 26,130 active cattle and calf facilities in California. Each year in this state, about 1.7 to 1.9 million heads of cattle are sold and the value of them ranges from 2.2 to 2.4 billion dollars. On large scale cattle farms, the workers have a lot of work to do every day and working on these farms normally lasts around 13 hours a day. For example, at this dairy farm with nearly 400 cows, this worker needs about 31 hours of continuous work to clean up all the manure that has been composted within 45 days. All of this manure will then be used to improve the soil in the corn and alfalfa feeds right next to the farm. For calves raised for meat, ear tagging is usually done when they're about five to six months old and this process will be done before their first off-farm move. This is a 345-head beef farm located in Osage County, North Central Oklahoma. From April to September each year is the right time for thousands of flies to breed and develop on this farm. Therefore, spraying for fly control will be carried out every three weeks and continue through the fly season. This is a hoof treatment for a nine month old bull. Treatment for hoof wounds is usually done only on cattle that are not yet eligible for sale. For cattle with hoof wounds that are eligible for slaughter, they will be sold to slaughterhouses with these wounds untreated. We are currently on a large scale cattle ranch located in Tripp County, south of South Dakota. Each year on this farm, about 1,300 to 1,400 cattle are sold to beef factories with revenue ranging from $3.7 to $4.2 million. For many years now, South Dakota has always ranked sixth on the list of states with the most cattle. According to statistics, as of September 2023, 
in this state, there will be 19,257 cattle ranches in operation, with the number of up to 4.9 million heads. This is a beef farm in Beaverhead County, Montana. Unlike most other cattle ranches in this mountainous state, all livestock on this farm will spend most of their time living in barns, instead of roaming freely in the grasslands. When it comes to the cattle industry in Montana, an interesting thing that you need to know is that the number of cattle in this state is twice as much as the population of humans living here. Currently in Montana, there are about 27,800 cattle ranches in operation. The number of cattle being raised in this mountainous state is around 2.7 million heads. When calves and cattle are eligible for slaughter, they will be transported to cattle auction markets. In cattle auctions in the United States, the price of cattle will be determined based on several key factors, such as breed, age, and weight. In addition, supply and demand factors also greatly affect the price of cattle in an auction. While the cattle auction goes on, cattle trucks will arrive and wait to transport them to new locations, such as a new ranch or a slaughterhouse. According to statistics in 2020, in the United States, there are about 1.4 million drivers of heavy trucks and tractors. Most of them transport cattle at least one point during their careers. A typical cattle trailer attached to a trailer can carry between 20 and 40 cattle, depending on the size of the trailer. This is what happens at a beef factory in the United States. Each day across the country, about 95,000 to 113,000 cows are slaughtered. Each year, the beef industry in the United States generates between 67 and $69 billion in value and creates approximately 2.8 million permanent jobs.